Hey folks here, uh, Spam Doctor here. Uh, went on a couple uh, house calls yesterday. I just want to kind of share with you, let you know what's going on here in Minnesota. Really a shame what's going on with uh, people that uh, have this aversion and not uh, not liking Spam and not getting Spam. That's uh, that's even worse, not getting Spam. So uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit. I'm going to show you all about it. Okay, hey, so... So Nella, you're going to tell me that uh, you got this aversion to eating Spam. I'm kind of wondering why that is. You don't like Spam too much? What's the deal there? How come you don't like Spam? Is there a reason? Is there a reason that you can tell me that you don't like Spam? Because I think most people from Minnesota, they like Spam. Because you know, there's a few things in Minnesota if you like the, the lutefisk, you like the Swedish meatballs, and you like the Spam. Are you the only one in Minnesota that don't like the spam? What's up with that? Okay, Nelly. We'll let you go then. We understand. I mean, most people like it. Evidently, you don't. But that's okay. Because I know that uh, must be a reason for it. I don't know. Can you tell me? Being from Minnesota the way I am, I know all about those there food groups, you see. So, so what I'm trying to tell you there is there's the three main food groups are the lutefisk, the Swedish meatballs, and of course the spam. See the spam there? You gotta have the spam. So, uh, well according to Doug Matters, you know, this, uh, he's the pastor here at the Crossman's Church there. See, according to Doug Matters there, he says that uh, he's got this spam filter on his computer. So he's not able to get no spam. And so I just don't think that's right. Uh, you know, you can't, you can get the meatballs, I know that. And uh, I know he likes that lutefisk, because he's a, he's a fisherman from way back there. And he likes to chew on that there jelly stuff. So I decided to get him his own, very own case of spam. If he got a spam filter, he got this hair spam filter, he's not able to get the spam. And I heard that he's out right there, out there in California right now. And I know that out there in California, they, 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 I, I know they, 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 don't, they don't know nothing about that their, uh, that their uh, spam. Because uh, out there, you know, it's all that uh, fruity loopy uh, kind of that uh, whole food stuff. You know, that, uh, I don't know what they think they got out there. Some, uh, I think it's uh, the, 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 the tofu, something like that. You can't have spam. The tofu and the spam, that's, that, that just don't work. When he gets his spam, he'll be able to have all the spam he wants, and we're going to get rid of that there spam filter. There ain't no way that we can have, allow some guy that lives in Minnesota, he was born up here in you know, northern Minnesota there, and there ain't no way that he's going to be able to live without any more spam anymore. That's just all there is to it. That's what we're going to do for him. So I'm going to leave this right here for him. When he gets back there from that California, he'll be able to have that there spam right there for him. So wrapping it up here today, folks, I'd just like to let you know, if you got any questions about how you can get your hands on some spam, just dial this number right below me, uh, 1-976-SPAM, and uh, I'll be able to help you out there. 